today I brought a 3D printer to school. And uh Are you saying that that's really bonkers? Ah shit, this is a terrible idea. Three D printers are pretty new technology, aren't they? Ten years ago, I don't think I would have heard of this thing ever. But luckily, we're in the future. And now, technology has improved so much to the point where I can use one as a chair. This right here is the Focus Odin-5 F3 3D printer, which comes around at about $350. I'm going to rename this printer the Odini Weenie because I'm still a teenage boy and I don't feel like being mature yet. This was sent to me by Focus to do a review and it looks pretty interesting. Who doesn't appreciate free stuff? So let's open up the Odini Weenie and check it out. First impressions are pretty nice. The box looks like something straight out of Toys R Us, even though this is an online purchase, meaning a nice box is kind of pointless. You don't see Amazon with some glossy boxes. But I guess it does have its purpose because even the worst review of this product said it had a nice box. But don't be fooled by first impressions. After all, I might look like a cool, admirable, hot guy, but you would never know that on my free time, I make anime figures. You can tell I've been sitting on it for quite a while, but I was just merely testing the packaging. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep this box. It's, it's a good bench. This 3D printer comes nicely protected in foam, and you may notice it is very compact. If you're new to 3D printing, you have to understand that these printers are either big or assemblable. It actually takes a functional brain to use these things. But luckily, as the future approaches and engineers get smarter, dumb people can rise up and use them now. This printer comes pre-assembled and it's foldable. Let's take a look at the rest of the package. Free filament, accessories, Focus is looking like a very likable company. And a warranty card. Now I can do something stupid with this printer and blame it on the manufacturer. Some tools and, oh my god, a pair of tweezers. I really wonder why every 3D printer comes with one of these. I wish I could get a red pair one day. We got some equipment and instructions to completely set up the printer. Screw in this, screw that, plug in this, and we're done. This printer took only 5 minutes to set up, and I find that really appealing because the last time I set up a printer, it attacked me. I tripped and fell on one of these dumb metal poles, and now I'll have this weird mark on my knee for the rest of my life. But at least now I can tell everyone that I got these scars from the Penis Maker 4000. If you have stupid friends or loved ones that are just like me, you might want to check out this 3D printer so you can avoid having to witness a tragic encounter. But first, let's see if this thing actually works. Here I leveled the printer which took 5 minutes as well. The procedure has directions if you have no clue what leveling is. Some of the directions are a little mistranslated though, but it's from China. It being from China and lasting this long is pretty good in my opinion. After my room has turned into a third world country, the printer is set up. For slicing, there is a minor inconvenience. I guess the company Focus isn't popular enough to get into the Cura slicer which basically everyone uses. But if you have a single brain cell, there is a tutorial online to get the printer settings into Cura, which I did. Now Focus can join the Cura club. Normally for your first print, you would print a test file like this boat. However, I couldn't care less about this boat. So instead, let's print an atomic bomb. And it turned out pretty good. The fact that you can go from box to print in about 20 minutes without having to tweak anything is just great. 
Now I have a cute little keychain that'll be sure to blow away any Japanese girls. Let's run a few longer tests to see if it could actually last. This is a track piece for some tanks I sell online. And if it can print this consistently, then I'll be satisfied. I'll print these while I go to school. And when it was done, it turned out good as well, except for a little warping here. I'm guessing that was caused due to uneven cooling caused by the AC. So I decided to give my printer some love and cover it in my favorite blanket. And this time, it printed fine. Love goes a long way. After this, I printed a crap load of these tracks and they all turned out great. No problems at all. At this point, the Houdini Weenie works and it's family friendly in setup and access. But the main selling point of this printer is that it's foldable. Why on earth would you want a foldable 3D printer? Well, let's say you're in college and you live in a small apartment or dorm and you want to 3D print crap. This thing would take up a whole desk, but if you fold it, it can go right next to your college textbooks. To bring this idea to its extreme and to get a few more views, I'm going to try to bring this 3D printer to school. Going on huh? No. What's wrong? <laughs> this is, I'm a roller backpack kid now. Um, that's not a backpack. That's a whole case. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see a problem. So we have a. I'm a. This is a roller backpack. I mean, it's a luggage. I bring this to Vegas to avoid suspicion. I put some tennis rackets in there, and I'll say it's for sports. Got a dead body in here. For some context. I'm setting up the printer in the STEM building, which is basically a rich branch of our school with $50 million allocated to it. I come from the normal campus, where the bathrooms are always closed because they can't afford to fix them. My main point is that, to those watching outside of the US, please don't think this is how the average American high school looks like. We are much poorer than that. I feel like a pervert, bro. I feel like a pervert. We're in the STEM building. This is a very rich American. This is, the, this is the, probably the richest American building for public school in California. The great thing about here is that uh, we got all the public schools. So, you know, we utilize the resources. We're, we're like, uh, Dumb shit I've already done with. Did they throw um, shit at you guys? Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Alright. It's done. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly set up. Whose is this? This is mine. I brought it to school. Why? This guy wants to get paid for nothing. You know what? Fuck, I did all the camera work. Hey, calm down, cameraman. Yo, here, take your racket. I brought it. <laughs> Thanks. It's just a normal day. Oh, I joined Maker Club. What? Uh, the Maker Club sucks. Ooh. Mm. Last time I tried to join the Maker Club, they kicked me out. So, what? They kicked this is my new club. <laughs> wow, it's working. This is great. You know. This is great. <laughs> oh, no. These guys are professionals? Yeah. We've been doing it for like centuries. Nerds! Is this the full one? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, man, you want to be in the video? Oh shit. Hey, when does lunch end? I think I'm gonna have to pack up. This is unfortunate. No, 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 no. You need to get people doing passing period because then it looks good when it's cool. But then I'll be late to class. Uh, no, you won't. Is that real? Alright, I think that was a good day. Uh, I'm gonna go to class.
and uh, hopefully not fail. Are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is how to disassemble the 3D printer. Yo, Rob! Perfect! Time to go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And that is how it's done. Final thoughts on the 3D printer. I think it's good. It still works even though I abused it in ways no sane human being ever would. It prints well and does what a 3D printer should. But that doesn't mean it's perfect. There are some more critical reviews on the product online that state arguable issues about the printer, which I think you should look into before buying. If I were to give some criticism, I would say that the folding aspect should be flushed out a little more. So I don't have to use screws. I mean, a latch would be really nice. Also, I think the printer should be smaller because if you're going to buy a foldable 3D printer, I don't think you're gonna need such a big printing size. I really wished I could have put it in my backpack. However, I firmly believe that this printer is a great step in the right direction. There aren't any other foldable 3D printers on the market yet. So if you're looking for a neat 3D printer, that is somewhat compact, user-friendly, and can create some more fun, then the Odini Weenie is just for you. Just make sure that if you end up getting this 3D printer, you know what you have to do.